Hey, what is up guys? So today we are going to be talking about tips to be successful on YouTube or Twitch. I find them to be very, very similar in a sense because at the end of the day, you're either entertaining someone or you're teaching them someone something. Uh, the gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing is this game where I struggled so dang hard in this hard point. This was a ranked arena game and I legit go 0-20. It was a struggle, but I feel like it's going to relate a lot to people's channels because you might struggle in the very beginning. You need to change something up. Like... I had to change guns, and then I went completely off, and then the game was okay. We actually made a huge comeback from this gameplay, but uh, now that that's out of the way, now you guys know what you're going to be watching, but like I said, it's going to relate to a lot of you guys uh, in YouTube, whether you need to change up your, like, your sleep schedule, or you need to you know be on that content every single day. Like You need to be looking up like what are the hot topics to talk about. Even though technically your channel will be at a disadvantage, we'll talk about that in a moment, where like you know if someone searches up you know Call of Duty gameplay, is your channel going to pop up? No, of course not. I mean, if they search, you know, number one ranked Beyblader in the world, is your channel going to pop up? No, of course. Mine's going to be number one. So at that point, you know, um, you can see where you're going to be at a disadvantage if you're uploading, like, the same kind of content. So um, anyways, first off, I want to start off by saying, like, uh, you know, those people that make those YouTube videos are like, anyone can do it. It's like the same people that say, you know, anyone can be the president of the United States. Like, it's realistically not everyone can do it. And that's okay. You can definitely try, but, you know, you do have to keep consistent at it. But there is a, going to be a point where you're, you are going to be giving up. And, you know, in this Call of Duty gameplay, you'll see that uh, I do not give up. This was actually taken from the live stream. And, um, crazy, crazy gameplay over here. And it was just a struggle. I, I legit went 0-20. Uh, and, and then we go off later on. But uh, you have to stay consistent with it. 99% of YouTubers made their like first paycheck uh, so far after they started. Like It took months or years before they even really saw any amount of real tangible income like you make it two cents but like let's be realistic like you're not gonna put like you know 10 hours a day and be satisfied with two cents like you're gonna get upset about this and you're gonna be discouraged so being consistent can be also really good but keep in mind everyone had to start at one sub or zero subs essentially i mean you could just ask your mom just be like hey mom you know sub for sub and you should be like all right and then you know once your mom subs you just unsub right back you know you don't want to watch her content anyways well first off you gotta have good quality uh, resolution and good quality audio. I think that's an important step that I think a lot of people, even in 2016, they record on their phones like this, with their phones like this, just, you know, put it, uh, tilt it, and that's all you gotta do. Like, you really need to get good quality stuff. Um, you don't have to have, like, the best top of the line, but, you know, just something decent. Uh, a lot of you guys ask me, what do I use? I'm just gonna put that all down below in the description box so I don't have to go over all of it, but you don't have to have exactly what I have. Buy whatever you can afford and you think is relatively decent. Like, you don't want to use your laptop microphone that has this mmm sound in the background. I, I cannot stand it when I hear that hiss. If there's a hiss video, I usually just click out. Like, I can't I can't stand them unless it's, like, super, super entertaining or funny. Um, for the most part, yeah, you just need... It's 2016. You could probably record something better using, like, your phone. Get a decent microphone. You can get decent microphones for, like, 10 bucks now. So, no excuses for microphones. As far as resolution, minimum 720p. I mean, it's 2016. If, if anything, you should be, like, looking to shoot in 4K. Which I understand, like, not everyone really does. And uh, I think minimum... 720p is a good start like 1080 is optimal but like there's so much free recording software out there that lets you record in good resolutions the re the software that i use is called obs completely free i'll actually be doing a tutorial on it relatively soon so uh check the description box it might be already uh uploaded by the time you are watching this video if you're watching it. a few days or a few weeks after this thing is out but uh yeah like i said obs completely free i'm not sponsored by them at all um, but, uh, yeah, that's the application that I use to record, and then obviously for hardware, uh, you guys can check out the description box below, and you guys can see exactly what I use. But, uh, yeah, you definitely want a good microphone, because, like I said, you don't want no hissing, you don't want no bad resolution, and all that other stuff. So, uh, next up, uh, now that you've got, like, your equipment, uh, you need to, you know, obviously record your video. Like, that, that's just... You know, something you got to do. Like I said, if you're going to be making videos on, like, Call of Duty, who's going to pop up? Is it going to be, you know, you? Or is it going to be, like, Ali A, Drifter, you know, all these other YouTubers? So it doesn't really matter what type of content you're creating. It could be Yu-Gi-Oh!, whatever, Hearthstone, it doesn't matter. What you create, there is more than likely, if, especially if you're just starting out, unless it's a brand new game or something like that, there's going to be other people that are going to pop up first. So you already are going to be 
d a disadvantage going into that field. But don't be discouraged because you can still totally do it. But there's still channels that you know just came up last year in the Call of Duty scene that have more subs than uh, I I've earned in like my entire uh, YouTube lifespan. But uh, same thing with Twitch, like all, all the stuff. Like, you know, starting out on Twitch is really difficult. I would really recommend starting out on YouTube because when you go live, you're going to have zero viewers and, like, it's just going to be real, real discouraging for you. So, I recommend starting out on YouTube, then work on to Twitch. Uh, as far as Twitch goes, I feel like it's it's essentially th it's the same type of stuff. Uh, other than you got to look at the, uh, you know, chat every once in a while. Or you can be, uh, you know, so into the game that you just never read chat, but you're good enough at the game so people don't care. Uh, that can definitely work out. Um, as far as creating a thumbnail goes, uh, you basically just put like tits. If you just want to clickbait people, you could definitely go ahead and put some tits in. Uh, more than likely though, if you don't deliver on that, like if you put like, uh, gone sexual, you know, in the hood, cops called, uh, you should deliver on that. Because if, if you're not delivering, um, you know, with your catchphrase and your clickbait titles, uh, then they're just not gonna sub, they're just gonna leave and be like, dude, I don't want a thumbs down to video. So, uh, keep that in mind as well. Um, as far as uh, editing goes, uh, people ask me, what, what do you use to edit, dude? <laughs> editing is, is too time-consuming five me. Like, generally, uh, Sony Vegas is, is what I personally like to use, but sometimes it like, errors out because you got a bootleg copy. Not that I would have a bootleg copy, but Sony Vegas, like, you'll be editing for like 29 hours, and then it'll be like, oh, wait, hold on, bro. Like, we just like, you ran out of just error. Sorry, you lost your program. Redo it! And that's Sony Vegas in a nutshell. Uh, Corella Video Studio is pretty sexy because, you know, that happens a lot less. But uh, as far as editing programs go, uh, a lot of you guys ask me what editing software I use. I use Corel and Vegas. Uh, like I said, Vegas, much more easy, much, much more fluid. But then there's like the random RNG of like, it legit will just crash. And like, this happens to everyone. Like, it ain't just me. I've seen the forums. But uh, that said, uh, yeah, just um, don't, don't, totally just don't bootleg a copy of Vegas. I don't know. Maybe that's why everyone had the problems because they all got bootleg copies. But no, for real, so like, even if I have legit copy, like, I don't know. It, it, just, it just has error problems. Uh, if, if you're good, and Windows Movie Maker, excellent program as well. Like, you really don't, don't worry about editing too much in the very beginning. Just, just make sure you're creating content that is either funny or you're showing people how to play. But if you're showing people how to play, I'm pretty sure that you're, you're not like already known. If you're a known pro player, then at that point, like, you can already establish a community anyways. But, um... Make sure you have uh, your title to be relatively good and slightly accurate, well, not slightly, accurate enough to make it so, like, people want to watch it, but at the same time, um, you're not making it so clickbait that you're not delivering on that, and, uh, people will just walk out of their video because, like, I, I thought there was going to be titties gone wild, lollies, you know, exposed, uh, you know, those kind of video titles, uh, will get people to click in, but again, people are just going to walk away. Uh, because <laughs> you're not delivering on that type of content. But um, as far as uh, other people asking, because a lot of people ask me the question of like, you know, how did you get started? Okay, I, I used to go to a lot of different tournaments for a lot of different games. Uh, actually, if some of you guys remember, I was actually featured on the front page when MLG Insider was a thing. I used to play Halo competitively, uh, for those of you guys that didn't know. Uh, I, I established my old username in the community and people like wanted to see the gameplay. They wanted to see like some of my plays. If you go like a nuclear in a game or if you go like, you know, 70 and Hearthstone, Yu-Gi-Oh! card games, like, you know, if you're going off on these crazy like streaks and stuff, people want to see that stuff. But the thing is, uh, if you're not known, they're not going to be knowing to search up your name or something like that. So uh, make sure your your title has what you're doing in the gameplay. Don't just put like, you know, uh, Swagboy69420 plays it, you know, plays. Because like, who, who is that guy? I, I don't know him, you know. Not, not until you establish yourself in, uh, into like a community, uh, whether whatever game it is. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, but like I said, this game was a real struggle for me for the most part. But, you know, in the end, we did come back. Uh, pretty big indeed. Uh, I mean, you guys saw how far we were, were down in this gameplay, but like I said, it, it's just an excellent gameplay to show you guys. Sometimes you just have to change up your stuff. That can be your sleep schedule. That can be what game you're playing. You could, you know, games die after a few years. Like, you, who, who really playing Halo in this day and age? Who's playing, uh, well, I mean, Halo, I mean, it's still, like, slightly relevant, but to be realistic, like, the, the FPSs nowadays are, are basically Call of Duty and uh, Counter-Strike, I would say, for the most part. There might be some obscure games, but for the most part, you know, games just die out. So you have to, you know, go with whatever is, I guess, more popular if you're just interested in getting that AdSense money. But also, I think people just want viewers, and they want, you know, the game that 
they play to be relatively popular. It doesn't have to be super popular, but you know, no one making videos on Ultima Online right now, right? There's no channels that are like thriving playing Diablo 2, but uh, that said, uh, this was an excellent gameplay to showcase for you guys. And showing you guys, again, just like the struggles, I, I struggled in the very beginning of YouTube. Everyone struggles in the very beginning of YouTube. When you're making like two cents for like 50 hours a week, you, you get like nothing. You're going to be very discouraged. It's going to take time. That's all I'm going to have to say for you guys. But I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, with your uh, career in YouTube if you want to make a career or if you just want to get more popular and just get some of your videos out there But that said I'm just gonna go ahead and play the audio for the rest of this game because it was it was amazing Just uh, enjoy the rest of the game like oh my gosh You were all super excited when the game ended Oh my god, there's no fucking way. Yeah, but, uh, look, 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 I did it. I got that. Look at that. Dude, I saw so What was that? 0 and 18? 0 and 18. 0 and 20. You're 0 and 20. What was that? It was 0 and 20. 0 and 20, 20, guys. <laughs> See, there you guys go. There's your motivation, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hey, Tinsel. Oh my god. And I'll see you guys later. I was 21 after a swap to the X.